live from WB Saw High School, where there seems to have been reports of what seems to be a foodborne illness taking over the campus. Okay, I think it's good. These poor, poor children's been going through it. Purple vomit, headache like fever symptoms, <coughs> abdominal cramping and diarrhea. I ain't seen nothing like this before. All I know is that this morning I was in statistics class and I started getting lightheaded and dizzy. I started breaking out in the cold sweats and... Hold up, hold up. This gonna be on 5 o'clock news? Yes, it will. Oh! Hey, Mom! Hey, West Side, you already snow, okay. What do you think is causing this here illness? I mean, it's probably like some sort of Flint, Michigan or Chipotle situation, but I know one thing, these cookies, they hit in the spot because I'm hungry right now. But they got a little funny aftertaste, but that's not the point. That That's fine. Tell me more about this taste. It tastes like, you know, that smell when horticulture students put fertilizer on a baseball field. But, no, chocolate can fix anything, so they max the taste. We'll see about that. Hey, man, do you know how to get to the shore from here? Uh, I've just been informed that the horticulture team used fertilizer yesterday on the baseball field. Is there any way that this could possibly have any type of tie-in to this illness that we have on campus? No, I don't think so. It would take a long time for all this to get into my digestive system and make them all sick. You know, earlier I actually did have a cookie and everything, and I feel perfectly... <laughs> oh, you okay there, buddy? What do you know about this epidemic? <clears throat> it's been brought to my attention that you've been selling this garbage, I mean, I mean cookies, as a part of a fundraiser. Is there any chance of cross-contamination? As a Surf State Certified Food Science major, I am good at practicing good hygiene and proper handling of food, so there is no way that I can make anyone sick. Do you see this hairnet? I wash my hands and all this other junk. I have my coat. There's no way. I have sent samples of these cookies to our resident chemist, Dr. Eduardo O'Dwyer. Here's what he had to say. I have analyzed the contents of these here cookies, and in addition to having a high quantity of saturated fats, uh, sugars, and a very disproportionate uh, amount of chocolate chips compared to the circumference of the cookie, it seems that I've also been able to test a high concentration of fertilizer in the mix with the cookies. Based on these toxicology reports and the surveillance footage that I have, I can conclude that the source of this epidemic is you. What do you have to say? So you see what happened was, <laughs> I thought the five second of rule applied here. <laughs> uh, okay. This epidemic has spread rather rapidly throughout this here school district. I don't know what happened, this caused this to me, but I know one thing for sure. I am suing the school district, the principal, the USDA, the FDA, the FBI, the CSA, and any student or teacher responsible for this. This is a Saw Media Club original production. <laughs>